Hello, this is a tutorial on how to play Becky I Keep Singing This Song by Hey Rosetta. It is a pretty simple song, uh, not too tricky. The only trick to it, um, it's only a small trick and only if you're not used to it. Uh, but once you get used to it, it's really no big deal. Uh, so what's the trick? Well, normally explain the song, it's very simple. You know, you got your uh, chord accompaniment and then you have your melody and they split up nicely into the chord accompaniment in your left hand and the melody in the right. Uh, keep it simple. This one, uh, it'll be easier if you uh, play the chords in your left and right hand and play the melody in your right hand, which can be a little bit tricky at first, uh, but it's really no big deal. Um, so I'll start out uh, talking about the chords that you're going to be playing. Uh, you're going to be playing a C major chord. D minor chord, G major chord, and then back to C, C with a B in the bass, and D minor, and you loop through those. Um, you only play the initial C the first time, after that it's always going to be starting with that A minor. Um, but the way you're going to be playing these chords, instead of just playing the triad like this, you're going to want to play uh, the first, the fifth, the first, and the third. So for C, that would be C, G, C, and E. Like that. Um, and so uh, the reason why you're going to want to bring in your right hand is because this is a little awkward doing this. This crossover right here. Uh, it's easier if you bring in the right hand and you do it like this. Um, and since the right hand's not going to be doing anything too complicated over here, it's actually easy to do that with the thumb of your right hand uh, while keeping up the chords in your left. Um, so again, uh, the way you're going to be playing these chords is going to be C, D minor, G, and then C, still C but bring the bass down to a B. from this A minor and just uh, go down to G and then to F. So you go. Like that. Oh, but that's only the last time through that you'll do that. Uh, the right hand is A going to be playing that uh, third of the chord. Uh, It's also going to be playing the melody. Uh, so the melody is C, C, B, A, F, and then C, B, B, A, G, E, C, C, B, A, E, C, B, going along with, uh, with the vocals. Um, if you, you know, listen to the recorded version, you might hear uh, more than that, uh, but keeping it simple, 
that's how you play the right hand. Uh, you can embellish on, on that if you want. Um, so that's how you play the verses. Um, the next part after e after the first verse is the uh, pull me out of my body section. Um, that's going to be octaves in the left hand, chords in the right hand. Uh, so you play a C chord, C, E, and G. Um, one note that I have uh, for the verses, obviously you can embellish on the whole thing and, and uh, make it fancier, and certainly uh, that's what Halo's editor does if you listen to them. But uh, what I do uh, in the second verse is for um, during the part where he's singing, uh, there's so much to take in, there's too much to taste. Um, that whole section is kind of louder and, and more of a crescendo. So what I do is uh, just play the um, chords instead of instead of playing this. I'll switch over to do the chords. Um, just playing the chords instead because it'll sound better. Um, you don't have to do that, you could just stick with what you're doing, doing this, but um, you might want to do that. Um, it's up to you. It's uh, depend on what you want it to sound like. Uh, so after the second verse, instead of going into uh, this pull me out of my body section, instead it's um, the uh, Becky I keep having this dream section. So the chords for that one, uh, it's, it's going to be the same. You're going to be playing the bass in your left hand and the chords in your right hand. Um, but the chords are E minor, E, G, and B. Each time around, you bring it up uh, 
so you're not playing the same thing over and over again. You could do something totally different, but um, I like to do that. Uh, and so, um, and what, one other note I would have um, is, um, you know, I'll just play, uh, you know, quarter notes, uh, keeping it simple, just... Actually, um, what I like to do is uh, for the bass, um, I like to do this because it definitely stands out when I listen to the song. Um, the bass is going. second time through um, like to do this at, at the very end instead of just playing it quarter notes like that um, kind of you're building up and uh, play it like this instead um, but I mean you can do anything you want here uh, that's just how I do it so go and octaves this time for the very last line of the song. Um. Sure to let me know in the comments and I will answer that. 